Yeah, good day guys. Welcome back to the Graphic Design Training. I believe we're doing great. Uh, today I want to share with you five amazing PSD files for text effect. You can customize this text effect on your names and other depending on uh, whatever you, you want. So let me quickly uh, show you how you can uh, do that and show you what I've done on this. So you can actually Customize the name to whatever you want. You can use it even to make uh, uh, a design depending on how you want it. So check it for instance, like the one I just have uh, practicalized everything. They are very simple, both on smartphone and on your PC. You can actually achieve this. So you can check it. I customized this. As you can see, this was customized by me using this uh, text effect. Then let me show you another one. This was customized as well as part of the text effect. So I'm going to show you how to customize this text effect and how you can even remove the background. So at later on, you can use it to make a design. So I removed the background. So I want to use it for another design for advert, for uh, uh, advert as well and uh, for training. So for people who want to uh, uh, who want to see how far I've gone about uh, the graphic design and the classes which I'm holding that I'm going to start tomorrow. I want to just uh, do a kind of a flyer that will post that will notify them. So I want to use one of these uh, text efforts. So we have these uh, five text efforts which I'm going to show you. So let me show you. We have the preview of all these uh, text efforts one after the other. They are realistic text efforts. And as you can see, this is it. So when you check the first one, these are the preview. Let's look at the preview. So when you check the preview, you can see it directly. So let's open it. Preview one. Uh, we have so let, we can use our this application to open. So let's look at the first preview of uh, of that. Uh, uh, this is the first preview of the text effect. This is the realistic text effect. This is the first one. Let me minimize it. The second one is a slanter and a sitting text effect. You can see it. So I'm going to show you how we are going to edit this because it's somehow uh, 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 it's somehow. Uh, uh, difficult and somehow confusing to edit this on how to open the layer. Look at this. So I call this one thunder taxi fan because you will have uh, how amazing. I call it liquid. I call it thunder because of how it uh, it look. So it look like a uh, 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 the blue line. Very very interesting. So the one that is even relating to race. Let's just show it. Very similar to that one. Then you can see categorically that. Uh, all these are so amazing when you edit them. You all this slant one, you see them, see the way it was very, very cool. And you see it's very rare to find. You can even uh, or, or download this directly without being paid online. But I'm giving this for free. You need to just watch the stuff or the video. And I'm going to use it so that you won't have an issue on open it. So let's look at the so this test effect and as you can see we have one two three four five six we have six text effects which i'm going to share with you guys today so and i'm going to teach you how to open that text effect look at this i've saved this one this is the number one i'm going to use in my next design and the first one which i show you i'm going to use that one the one i just make which i'm telling you that uh, we are going to use that this is the one i make with my own you can save it this is the previous one. This is another one. This is another one. You can see them. This is another one. This is another one. And this is the first one I saw. I used. You can see it. This is the first one. So this is the second. And this last one, second to the last one, I've make it. I want to use it for a design too. And this is the uh, the one I just show you the preview which I've uh, make in that. So now let's go directly into uh, the our uh, Canva. This is the Canem, sorry, our uh, uh, Photoshop. This is the Photoshop CSC. I want to open it with it. Why? Because I'm charging my phone and I might forgot. I want everybody to have an access to that. So that's the reason why. So as it is now, I uh, I want to open the layer one after the other. So let's go to the file. So get into the file, go to the open. So when you open it, then we want to access where it is. So I have it, everything saved on my desktop. So I want to access it on my desktop. So these are the these are these are the 
uh, uh, realistic uh, taxi fraud. So let me just open anyone, anyone, then we are going to edit and uh, see how it works. So let's take it for instance, this second to the last one, which I'm telling you. After you click on it, you wait. You see, we made this where the problem is. The first one I imported, this is just the preview. That is the mistake people normally make. This is the preview. The preview always come along with the, with the text default. So the preview is the one that you will see directly, but you won't see the PSD directly unless you bring it here. So after clicking it, you ask you to keep the layer, click, keep the layer. Then the Photoshop or the uh, uh, photo P will read. So it will actually read it. You understand? So it's a reading, as you can see. So now after reading, it will display the result where we are going to see uh, where the preview is. Then we can edit it. Now, one thing you are going to see here, there is a layer here. These are the layers. So all this layer is what I'm going to show you one after the other. So we are going to look at all this layer. So now we have the layer. Everything is, uh, is here. So now we want to start editing and uh, open them. So we have a drop down arrow. When you look at my casa, we have a drop down arrow here. So this drop down arrow, we have a text effect. If you want to hide the upper and the lower one, when you hide this, so it will take a little seconds, then you see that uh, it will be hidden because shape can be, that is where the shape can be, the one at the bottom will be hidden. You see it has disappeared. So we go down, the rectangle, the double, the rectangle at the top, that uh, they put the text inside, the two will be disappear now after closing the rectangle. Then we can go further. We have a logo mockup. The logo mockup is the one written inside the rectangle. You can hide it as well when you hide it to disappear because we don't need it. So, editable smart object. So, we hide it as well, it will disappear later. So, it will take a second before it will process. So, after that, we have a PSD. That one will be disappear as well. You see, they put a sign of a danger. They put it there because they are not what they are not PSD. So after you 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 place those ones, then you can you will see it later. Uh, all of it will later disappear. Then we can go to the main text. Open this edition. So when you open it, you go down. Then you see place your design. This is it. That's how it will show whether you are using Photopea. Then double click. The way we normally double tap and you click OK to open the layer, then click OK again. So after the two layers have been opened, so we are going to edit it, then we'll run it at the same time. So if you don't have this font here, if your photo doesn't have that font, if this one doesn't have the font, your Photoshop, you will replace it with another font. So it might not show exactly like this. And if the font is there, you are lucky, it will display. So how can you change this if you want to change it? Because I put it on a drag mode. You come here under where the roots is, you put you put it on. When you put it on, you can tap this and you continue replacing. So it will replace the text. I told you. So this one too can be the text will be replaced later. So now we can delete this. See, we have deleted. So let's say I want to put deco graphic. So we have deco. That one has been put. Then I can change the font by coming here. Instead of 230, you can see 430. We can have a 490. 490. But before it will change, you can highlight first. Then uh, we have a 430. 430. You see, you have to highlight. Then you click OK. Now it has been increased. So after that, the next thing you are going to do is to close another what another window close this window so before you can close it will not close come here click on the drag one then you can now come here you can close then click keep the layers and the changes then it will automatically run and convert it's like you are updating with the new information so it will convert and it will what it will change it for those that don't know how to use you can open it on your system you have a system you don't know how to open it there and if it is a uh, you see, if it is you are using Photopea, you might not be able to close it like that. What you will do is that go to the what? Go to you see Chrome style. Chrome is going to change to uh, uh, is going to change to Deco now. You can see it has changed to Deco. So there is one thing I have to adjust now. If I want to do this, 
which I supposed to adjust before. Are you getting it? I supposed to shift that decal up, but instead of that, I'll make sure I shift the style a little. So now we go down. We go down. So we've changed the first one. Uh, so we look at the second layer. So let's check this layer. So we have the effects. Let's open this. Okay, no layer was here under the select so check whether there is another layer for us to open. So background is there anything outside the background to open nothing. So which means the one that we need to see. Let's see the star. The star should be here. So let's open this particular layer. So when we open it, let's see whether we can deal with this. So go to the tick where we are going to access this. Then we are going to we'll go to the tick. Then we are going to delete this. Okay. Okay. We want to replace. Okay, very good. So now we can replace this all together. So you can align if you want. Delete it as one. So we now have deco graphics. Do you understand? So after having it that way, just click on the first icon at the top. Then you drag it down a little bit. That is what I'm saying. So when you drag it down, so that when the result came out, it will know what's sitting on top of uh, each other. So after that, close this layer. Then you click here. If you bring another prompt, you continue clicking OK. Clicking yes means updating. You see, you won't lose the previous information. You will rather update it. That's what does that mean. So we, it's reading the smart object now. Then you see that uh, all the hotels will be replaced. The same thing applicable with your photo P. You can go and click on the photo P. You just uh, uh, double tap on the smart object layer, then it will update. Then you should be able to have an access to it. So let's see how the result will be. Then you can see this is what style that was there before, but supposed to be replaced. So let's look at it. It has to be replaced. So that's why you see on Photoshop, we are waiting to. So the same thing applicable on other apply which i normally tell you that you need to patient a little bit now this one is what it has opened then you can save it so we have a two way that we can save if i want to like for instance i want to use this one for uh, uh to make a design are you getting it maybe i want to write deco graphic present a graphic design class or something so i need to hide all this layer so instead of me hide all the background where we have the layer then everything will be hidden then you wait for a second then you see that all the background will be closed, will be hidden. Then you can go ahead, you can see it. Then how do you save? For those that don't know how to use the Photoshop, or you are saved. If it is uh, Photopea, it's very easy. You just go and export. But here we don't export. Using this, you go and to save us. Then when you save us, everything will display as a word, as a smart object. So what we're going to do is that you click on this uh, format. Which format do you want to use to save? That is what good about the photo P. So the one I want to save is PNG PNS. You can save it. Then where am I saving it to? So I want to save it to my library. So go here to the picture. So I'm saving it here. You click OK. Now it will take you back here. Then it will read it. If you are using a photo P, you see the process we are passing through here using the Photoshop. If you are using a photo P, you only look at it. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. You need to wait a little bit because it will process it. That is what we call a buffer that always holds an information before it becomes processing. So the buffer will do the work. Then when the work is done, you see it's trying to merge the layer. So merging the layer, the process you need to look at it because of your phone processor. You might not be able to be seeing all these things. So that's the reason why when you are saving, you pay it patient a little bit. As long as the window is not closed, you still exercise patience. And that is how to just what that is how to edit a layer. The same thing applicable with the rest layer if you are editing. Very, very simple. Now we have our work. Then you see saving at the bottom, 84%. We wait until when we have an 100. Then we'll go and check and see the work. So right now, let's add in back to where we have. Uh, uh, let me check. So we have a picture. So the picture, then you can see the result. This is the result. Let, let's check the result and see what we get. Okay, you see it without background. So this is how to save. And if you want to save with background, you don't need to hide anything background. The same thing applicable. 
to those that what that want to use a photo pig you can see go there to the layer that one is even well explanatory go to the layer then inside the layer scroll down then you see the background just click the top one don't hide it one after the other automatically everything inside that particular file will be hidden then you will have the result like this so if i want to use it to make my own design do anything i can go and use it making a design then i will support it with other write-ups and it will work everything will look amazing so i believe what get something this will be helpful a lot it will help you a lot by getting all these uh, six text effect psv file so only one thing condition in this you need to watch this video to the end because i'm going to mention the password now so that you can watch you can have an access to it so please watch the video to the end and the password which i'm going to use is today's date today's date day month and number today's date so make sure i won't say more than that use today's date to assess it and as you use today's date you will have an access to the file thanks for watching once again god bless you